Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to calculate volume surface area of cylinder, prism, cone, pyramid, and sphere. By volume of a three dimensional object, we know that how much material it can hold. Surface area is the outer area of the object, including top and bottom. Cylinder. So a cylinder looks like this, like a can of soda. It has a top surface and bottom. Top and bottom are a circle. Inside can be hollow or solid. So to calculate the volume and surface area of a cylinder, we can use the formulas. The formula for volume is base area times height. As I have mentioned that the base is a circle. So base area is actually the area of a circle, which is pi r square. So we have to write here volume equal to pi r square. That means area of the circle times height. And the surface area is the outer surface and also the top and bottom. So if you notice that the top is a circle and bottom is also a circle. so that will be 2 pi r square, which is here. And then this periphery, this side, if you cut it here, open it, it will look like a rectangle. And again, that rectangle has one side h and the other side is 2 pi r, which is the periphery of the circle. That's why the surface area of the outer surface, including top and bottom, will be 2 pi r square and then 2 pi r h where r is the radius of the circle and then h is the height of the cylinder. Now let's do an, a problem related to the cylinder. Calculate the volume and surface area of a cylinder with radius 5 feet and height 15 feet. So this is the cylinder which has a height 15 feet and radius 5 feet. So we have to simply use the formula and plug in the numbers into the formula. So formula is for volume pi r square h and pi value of pi is always constant, which is 3.14. 3.14 times r square, r is 5, so 5 square times 15. Again, 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 15. Because of this square, we write 5 two times. And if we use a calculator to multiply all the terms, then we will get 1177. 0.5 feet cube. Again, this is 3D figure. It has three dimensions. So the unit will be cube, meaning the R square, meaning uh, 5 and feet square. So feet square and feet. If you multiply them, that will be feet cube. And out surface area, top and bottom is 2 pi R square and then periphery is 2 pi R H. If you plug in all the numbers and do calculation, we should get it. So 2 and 2 is in the formula and pi is 3.14 and r is 5, so 5 square. Again, when the letters are, or numbers are written side by side, that is multiplication. So to the, show the multiplication, I am just putting the parenthesis. And here also 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 15. Then you use the calculator to multiply and then finally we should get 628. This is surface area, so this should be feet square. Rectangular or a square, a square prism. A prism looks like this, like a cube. This is a cube or we can say a square prism. Why a square? Because all the sides are squares. And this is called rectangular prism because the sides are like rectangle. The top can be can be a square or it can be also rectangular. So the a prism is like a book or a piece of a brick or a cube, uh, something like that. So, or like a box. So this boxes has total six phases, top and bottom, right and left and back and front. So all the six faces, we can calculate the surface area. So if, if we calculate the surface area of the top, and then we can multiply it by two to get the surface area of top and bottom. Similarly, we can 
calculate the surface area to the right hand side and then we multiply it by 2 to get the surface area of the right and left. They are exactly the same. Same with the back and front. So we have a calcul um, to calculate the to calculate the area volume and surface area of the cube volume V equal to length times width times height and surface area equal to 2 LW plus 2 HL plus 2 HW. So 2 LW is the LW is the top area of the top surface and we multiply it by 2 to get the bottom also. So top and bottom and the H and L. So the if you look at here, H and L is the area of the front face. And if you multiply by two, then we'll get front and back at the same time. Similarly, H and W is this side, right face. So for the right face, we have H times W. And if you multiply that by two, we get right and left faces. So that is 2HW. Where L is the length and W is the width and H is the height of the cube or rectangular prism. Now we will do simple problems by using those formulas. Calculate the volume and surface area of the rectangular prism with dimensions 4, 5, and height 10 centimeters. So if they mention that this is height and length and uh, width, then you know what is H, W, and L. If they don't mention what is what, but it, it still you can assign the numbers to any one of those. So here I am saying, okay, my length is 4 and width is 5 and height is 10 centimeter. So we are going to use the formula to calculate the volume first. So volume equal to L times W times height. So 4 times 5 times 10, which gives us 200 centimeter cube. Because the unit is in centimeter, as it is three-dimensional, or, or we are multiplying the three things with the centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter. So according to the rules of exponent, we multiply when we are multiplying, then we add the exponents. So that's how we get three here. One, two, and three. Now we can use S equal to two LW plus two HL plus two HW to calculate the surface area of the prism. Of L here, L is five, and then W is four. So we plug in here, two times five times four and 2 times h is 10, l is 5, and we plug in here, and then 2 times h and w, h is 10, and w is 4. So we multiply all 5 times 4 is 20 times 2 is 40, and then 5 times 10 is 50 times 2 is 100, and 4 times 10 is 40 times 2 is 80. So if we add all of them, then it will be 220 centimeter square. You know already cone, we use cone for uh, different purposes, cone ice cream. So cone looks like this. It has a pointed top and circular base. The, the cone has a vertex and a circular base. Radius of the base is R and height is H. So again here radius is, if you look at the circle at the bottom, radius is the R here. Radius of this circle is R. And then height from top to the center of the circle, the distance. This is height. Again, height is making a 90 degree angle with the center. Distance from the top or apex to any point on the circumference of the base of the circle is called slant height and is denoted by L. So from top to the circumference of the circle, so the, the whole thing around, going around is circumference of the circle. So from the top, if you draw a line to any point on the circumference of the circle, that is called slant height. And slant height is denoted by letter L. 
So volume of a cone, this is the formula for volume of a cone, which is one third times base area times height. Again, base is a, a circle, so it will be pi r square. So volume equal to one third pi r square times height. And the total surface area S is the base area plus area of the curved surface. So again, base area is pi r square and the area of the curved surface is pi r l. So this is, let's do a problem related to cone. Find the volume of a cone where r is equal to 5 centimeter, a is equal to 10 centimeter. Again, we write down the formula and plug in the values. Volume equal to one third base area times height, where is one third base area is pi r square and h. So one third pi is 3.14 times r square. That's why I wrote five, two times, five times five, and height is 10. So you multiply all the numbers here to get eight, 785 and divide by three. After dividing, we get 261.67 centimeter cube. Again, for all the three dimensional figures, the volume will be cube and surface area will be square. Calculate the curved surface area of the cone where the radius of the base is six centimeter and slant height is 24 centimeter. Also find the total surface area. So here we are asked, asked to find out the surface area of the base and surface area of the curved portion and then finally find the total. So to, to find the total, we have to, if you find this portion, the area of the circle and area of this portion, then we can just add them to find the total. So curved surface area is pi r l, then pi is 3.14 times r is given, radius six centimeter, and then 24 is the slant height, this l. So the after multiplying, all the numbers we get 452.16 centimeter square and base area so base is a circle so area is pi r square so 3.14 times 6 times 6 that gives us 113.04 centimeter square now to get the total we have to add these two numbers so 452.16 plus 113.04 equal to 565.2 point two centimeter square. Now let's look at pyramid. The pyramid can have the base of in the shape of any regular polygon. All lateral faces are congruent isosceles triangles. The altitude meets the base at its center. So the, the pyramid looks like this. This is a square pyramid because the base is a square. And this the from top to the center of the base is the height and height or altitude. And then the from top to the side, center of the side on side is called slant height. The altitude of a lateral of a lateral face of a regular pyramid is called slant height. So this is, so volume equal to one third base area times height. So one third capital B and height. So for all the base area, we use capital B. So lateral surface area of a regular pyramid is half and perimeter of the base and lateral slant height or lateral height. P is represents the perimeter of the base and L is the slant height, this one. Total surface area is the lateral surface area plus base area. So lateral surface area is already, we know, on half and perimeter times L and base area, we know it's a, depending on the situation, in this case, it is a a square so, so area of the square but now we are going to do a problem related to pyramid find the volume and total surface area of a regular pyramid with a square base with the length 16 inches the slant height of a side is 17 inches and the altitude is 15 inches so here the pyramid again so the height h is given and then slant height is also given 
so the altitude or height is 15 and then slant height l is 17 from the given information we can write b is the base area equal to 16 times 16 because this is a square so 16 times 16 is the base area which is 256 and height is 15 uh, all, all are in inches and 17 is the slant height l so if we plug in into the formula volume equal to one third base area times height so one third base area is 256 times h height is 15 so if we multiply 256 and 15 and divide that number by 3 we get 1280 inch cube total surface area will be lateral surface area plus base area so lateral surface area will be half perimeter times l so half perimeter of this square is 4 times 16 and then l is 17 plus we already know the b from here base area which is 256 so after doing the calculation 4 times 16 times 17 gives us 1088 and divided by 2 will give us 554 so 554 plus 256 equal to 800 inch square so 800 inch square is the surface area of this pyramid so all the four sides plus this bottom base a sphere a sphere looks like a football or a tennis ball it has a center radius and diameter it has only one face or surface so a square looks like this so if you can imagine right in the middle of the sphere is the center and from the middle center point if you go anywhere on the surface periphery then you will get radius and diameter is from on side of the a sphere to the other side through the center is the diameter diameter of a sphere is double of the radius to calculate volume and surface area of a sphere we have formulas volume equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube and surface area is 4 pi r square so let's do some problems here calculate the volume and surface area of a sphere with diameter 10 inches so diameter is given we have to find out the radius because the formula has only radius so if diameter is given remember to divide it by 2 to find out the radius so i did here the radius equal to diameter divided by 2 is uh, so 10 divided by 2 is 5 inches and the formula is volume equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube so 4 over 3 and pi is 3.14 and radius is 5 we got here so 5 cube so 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 5 cube means we have to write 5 multiply by itself 3 times so 5 times 5 times 5 now we can use the calculator to calculate the whole thing so 4 divided by 3 is 1.33 and i just bring all these numbers down and again you multiply 1.33 uh, 3.14 5 5 and 5 to get 523.33 inch cube surface area of a sphere equal to 4 pi r square so again we write 4 times 3.14 times r square r is 5 so 5 times 5 so we multiply all the numbers to get 314 inch square that's all for this video Thank you for watching.